Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be updating the BIOS to the Asus M5A78LM-LX uh, motherboard. And so I featured this motherboard in another video on uh, a complete guide to building a AMD PC. Anyways, um, in that video I used a new CPU that came out, uh, the FX series um, uh, bulldozer uh, CPU, the 4100. So anyways, uh, that particular CPU um, requires a newer BIOS so that uh, most of the AM3 Plus uh, motherboards, which is what this is, uh, can accept the new FX series um, CPUs. And so uh, I didn't know this, but I had actually updated the BIOS before I made that video. So when I plugged in the CPU, it worked fine. But uh, I realized that... Um, this motherboard actually doesn't come shipped with a uh, uh, the updated BIOS or maybe it will or it does uh, but for the most part most likely it won't come with the uh, updated BIOS and you gotta update it yourself now you're probably thinking well how the heck are you supposed to update it if you bought this motherboard and a CPU the FX series CPU and when you fire it up to try to update the BIOS, it doesn't work because it doesn't recognize the CPU. Unfortunately, you're just going to have to figure out a way to uh, acquire a compatible CPU, meaning a CPU that will work in there with whatever BIOS it has, and uh, just to boot it up enough to get into the BIOS settings so you can update uh, your um, uh, CPU, your BIOS. So um, I can go through right here. I'm on the web page, and this all this stuff will be in the description. Um, if you go to the CPU support list, a lot of these uh, here's the newer um, uh, BIOS that it requires. So the FX series, which is right down here, requires the 510 uh, BIOS update and uh, everything else here if you just go back far down enough I had a uh, Sempron uh, CPU and this is probably the um, the Sempron 140 or 145 that's probably the earliest uh, BIOS that it could handle so I had one of these um, and uh, I was able to uh, plug this in and it was able to boot up uh, with an older BIOS and that's how one of the ways that you can get um, the, the, the computer, the motherboard to boot so you can update the BIOS. So if you can get your hands on one of these, this is a very inexpensive one, maybe uh, just enough to get the update going and then return it if you could, but um, that's one of the alternatives uh, if you uh, can't return your motherboard or you just really want to keep this motherboard but you want to update it this is one of the ways. Other than that, if you can get your hands on another one of these CPUs um, that you know uh, is compatible with this uh, earlier BIOS, then uh, by all means, um, go ahead and try that. All right, so um, that's that, and now I'm going to go ahead and download the uh, latest BIOS. And if we go down to the download button here. Uh, you can select your operating system or whatever operating system you think you're gonna have it doesn't really matter what operating system for this BIOS update really but um, once you uh, click on BIOS here it gives you all of the latest BIOS versions and uh, apparently there is a brand new new BIOS and so I'll go ahead and download that uh, this is uh, version 801 and it's improved system stability and supports new CPUs which is great I think I have maybe this one the 602 uh, but I think I originally when I first got it I updated to the 0510 a while back um, so yeah now I'm gonna be updating it to the uh, 0801 so I'll just go ahead and click on download and it downloads a zip file right so I have the zip file here and I'm using the 7-zip as my unzipping program so once you open up the file uh, you can just unpack or drag and drop the actual BIOS file so this is a ROM um, and this is the actual BIOS right 
and um, I have a thumb drive here and this thumb drive I'm gonna wipe it all out because I'm actually gonna format it it's actually kind of important uh, to have this at the uh, FAT or FAT32 file system and not NTFS but most likely it's probably already that um, but anyways uh, it's because your motherboard might not be able to recognize this once you plug this in um, to boot up into the BIOS it might not recognize the NTFS file system so it won't be able to see the BIOS file on there so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and we're gonna format it and uh, I am assuming that you um, don't need anything on this thumb drive if you're going to be formatting it, right? So it's very important that you know that. Uh, if you have files on there, get them off of there. I'm using this spare thumb drive. I'm going to format it. It's going to be the only file on there. Oops. Right? And so we open up my computer. I'm going to right-click here. I, I don't have anything on this drive, so I'm going to right-click on it and I'm gonna go to format and then I'll leave it at fat that's like the lowest uh, earliest version of formatting that you could do you could do fat32 if you want but fat's fine and uh, we'll just click on start it's gonna give you a warning everything's gonna be erased again please don't send me bad comments that you lost your data because I told you this is gonna wipe everything out All right so that's it. It's uh, formatted to FAT now. And now I'm just going to take that ROM file. I'm going to copy it onto the thumb drive. Now I have the ROM file there on the thumb drive. Don't rename it or anything. Just leave it as is. We are ready to plug this into our um, computer to boot it up. And we're going to go into the uh, BIOS settings. Now, uh, one thing I want to note, this particular method, what I'm showing you, should work for the most part, uh, many, if not all, Asus motherboards, as well as maybe a few other motherboards um, that uses the same kind of flash process. So this is kind of a general um, flashing of the uh, BIOS update, and it should work for the most part. Uh, but then again, you should always uh, look at the uh, documentation and read up on what it is you have to do to uh, update the BIOS uh, on your motherboard, right? So uh, we're now going to uh, boot up our system. All right, so we've uh, got the thumb drive plugged in, and I'm going to go ahead and boot up my system. Again, my thumb drive is plugged in. You're going to want to be plugged in directly into a USB port. You don't want to go in uh, through any type of hub or anything like that. And when you see this logo screen, press uh, the delete key uh, continuously. Just keep pressing it a few times, and uh, you'll enter into the BIOS here. And so... Um, First things first, uh, we're going to go over to the uh, tools section here. And if you notice, actually, uh, my BIOS version right now is version uh, 602, right there. Okay, and um, uh, there's also a, a list here, right on the side here, that says uh, what type of uh, thumb drive or what type of storage medium does this accept uh, for the Asus Easy Flash, which is... Uh, what I'm highlighted on right here and so uh, right there and so um, it basically takes uh, all of the fat partitions fat 12 16 and 32 and the RW means that it's able to read and write to it and uh, and I'll show you an example of what I what it does when you write to it by uh, backing up the original BIOS and then um, uh, NTFS if you had a thumb drive that was NTFS it would only be read only which is fine too and then it also takes a uh, disks and obviously that's going to be read only all right so uh, we're plugged in and uh, ready to go to uh, the uh, easy flash and uh, it's already highlighted here and so I'll just go ahead and press enter and enter in into the uh, easy flash all right so uh, once we're here now what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna press the tab key on the keyboard press tab to switch over to this window here and as you can see I can now um, uh, choose uh, what uh, drive that I want to use and so uh, C is my uh, system uh, my Windows drive and then E is also part of the Windows drive because uh, Windows partitions the hard drive uh, into two different partitions um, and then the D drive here is my thumb drive and then Pioneer is my uh, optical drive so uh, once I have that 
highlighted you press enter and you choose that you can see here I have my uh, my ROM um, that I downloaded from Asus and then I had a backup ROM I, I did a backup earlier um, just to see how it works and so if you wanted to do a backup yourself what you do is you press B and then you gave it you give uh, the backup file a name I'll call it backup 2 right and you press enter and then uh, it asks if you want a backup of the ROM under this so we'll press uh, enter and uh, this is a very dangerous and delicate operation right here you want to make sure that there aren't any problems um, this only should take um, about a couple of minutes and so once it's done we can uh, move on to updating the BIOS alright so the backup is complete press any key to continue okay so uh, now we're actually uh, ready to load our new BIOS and uh, once you have it highlighted here um, you're gonna press enter to select or load so go ahead and press enter now it's checking a file it's very important to make sure that the file isn't corrupt and um, we'll get to uh, updating it and uh, I just want to mention real quick that uh, for the most part this particular method should work for uh, many of the ASUS boards if not all of the ASUS boards um, this may also work for uh, many other branded uh, manufactured motherboards who, that use the uh, easy flash um, but of course you have to go to the to the right website and the right model download the right model of of uh, BIOS for your motherboard and um, so yeah so that's pretty much it and uh, we'll update the BIOS now and it asks are you sure you want to update you uh, arrow over to yes and you press enter now it's erasing the BIOS and this is a very delicate operation you do not want to lose power at this point uh, it's very important you don't want to do anything you gotta hope and pray that this doesn't turn your computer into a brick because uh, if something were to happen here it would be very bad and uh, it's not really recoverable um, if it messes up here so uh, of course do this all at your own risk I'm not responsible if you do something wrong um, or mess things up and uh, you might even have to uh, send back your motherboard if uh, something goes wrong alright so that's pretty much it the update is done system now is gonna reboot and then I'm gonna go ahead and press delete to go back into the BIOS and uh, we're going to check the version. It should be version 0801. All right, and there we have it. Uh, BIOS version 0801 up at the top there. Hope that helps everyone out. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, uh, rate, thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later.